developing the same acute flu-like symptoms, but they're not responding to any of the treatment. Mm, what about the respiratory problems? The same in all of them. Almost asthmatic, which is why my first thought was pneumonia, but they're not responding to any of the meds. Did you try any tetracyclines? No, we have to keep them on corticosteroids in order to control the lymphatic inflammation, which is a major contraindication. Exactly. our food, air, and water. But if we stay focused and committed, we can make a difference. Now, it's time to shake things up. We need to make people aware. Post flyers, spread the information. It is not a coincidence that more and more people are getting sick. Whatever is said will stay within this room. Please, if you have any ideas. It could be anything from the avian flu to the bubonic plague. The plague. I understand how alarming that must sound. I, I've only seen this range of symptoms in rural Asian countries where outbreaks like this are more common. We haven't seen the plague in the Western world in over 100 years. So, so you're saying that you think it might be the plague, but in the same breath you're saying that it can't be? I'm saying it shouldn't be. I don't have a better explanation at this moment. I appreciate your candidness, Dr. Martin, but I simply cannot justify a quarantine based on a hunch. systems are completely shot. Their antibody counts are dangerously low. Yeah, but the plague doesn't do that. No, I know, but I think it's why they're not responding to the antibiotics. So what, do we misdiagnose this? No, no. It's a, come in. It's definitely the plague. I just think there's something else we haven't seen. Thanks so much. Well, what are you looking for? Immune suppressing agents. What, metals? Yeah. This. There, five milligrams aluminum seven. What the hell? Okay. This might sound a little weird. Have you ever heard of chemtrails? Yeah, it's um, where the government's supposedly mixing chemicals in with jet fuel. Contaminating the white vapor trails that commercial airlines leave behind. Yeah, my son always says that when two of them cross, it looks like this guy's blowing your kids. All right, so what does this have to do with the outbreak? Well, go with me on this. I did a little research last night. What if it's true? What if the chemicals are affecting the general population somehow? Come on, Tess. You know these conspiracies pop up every time something goes wrong. No, I know. But how do you explain that? I can't. I'll tell you what else I found. You know that uh, company, Keller? Yeah, they're one of our main suppliers. Yeah, they're not only supplying pharmaceuticals, they've got their name plastered all over these sites. So, you're trying to link Keller with, with the outbreak? Not necessarily. I'm, I'm trying to find a clue that will get me to a cure. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm all for that, Tess, but... I don't know. It seems a bit much. I have to tell you that diseases have been on the rise since the early 90s. Diabetes, asthma, Alzheimer's, cancer, autism, the list goes on and on. Mm -hmm. At any given moment, there are over 4,000 jet planes flying above the United States. We've been gathering data for years, chartering the flight patterns, watching the people along the routes get sicker and sicker. They're putting something in the jet fuel 
that's making people sick. Okay, why would they want to do that? Some people think it's population control. Hmm. Other people think it's to increase our dependency on pharmaceuticals. We don't know. But that's where you come in. Me? Yeah, you work for a global health organization. But my job is to diagnose and contain viruses. What do I have to do with this? Well, tests are legitimate. People will listen to you. What do you want me to do, exactly? Keller makes a chemical called E901. Keller. We got someone on the inside that's working to get us a sample. When we get the E901 and we compare it with the jet fuel, maybe you can help us figure out what's hurting people. I already have an idea. I found barium and aluminum in the patient's blood. The focus of this project and its outcome are classified. So you have been putting chemicals in the jet fuel? With the sole intent of slowing global warming. But somewhere along the way, Keller made a few changes. Why? Money, Dr. Martin. vaccines. Oh, great. Is anyone responding? Gosh. You're gonna be fine. Hey! Dr. Uh, Martin. Yeah? Dr. Patel's waiting for you in the ward. Patients are not responding to the antibiotics. Gosh. 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 Hey! Uh, Dr. Uh, Martin. Yeah? Dr. Patel's waiting for you in the ward. Patients are not responding to the antibiotics.